Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Finally making another doll progress vlog. I didn't do very much in December. I did like four dolls because I was so busy with commissions and everything. Finally back, we're now doing another little weeby doll. So today I'm going to be making Mitsuki from Full Moon. And I'm also going to be showing you how I do like the little curls on the pigtails and stuff like that. Going to give you like a slight tour on that and then a regular progress vlog for the doll. And I'll also have like my character notes on my Kofi page. So all the links are going to be down in the description box. And this video is probably going to be out around New Year's. So have Happy New Year's, happy 2022. I'm going on my second year on YouTube, been on YouTube for a full year now, so I'm super excited about that. And thank you guys so much for all the support. It really encourages me to continue to reach my $200 milestone. And yeah, so these are the colors that I'll be using. We have Magnolia Way, the skin. Here's black, white yarn, here is brown, and here is pink. I'll be back with the next progress update. Okay, so here's the first update for Mitsuki. I'm using the outfit where she just wears the pajamas because it's really easy and most of the time she's pretty much like not a healthy girl. And if you haven't watched this anime, I'd highly recommend it. I saw this like a long time ago when I was in middle school and I absolutely fell in love with it. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't want to spoil anything. So I just recommend you watch it if you haven't. A girl who likes to sing and she wants to become a singer. And then like there's this thing where she meets like Shinigamis and like she pretty much transforms into a blonde girl. So it's basically kind of like Hannah Montana. <laughs> You have like Miley Cyrus and then she turns into like Hannah Montana. <laughs> Anyways, I recommend you to watch it. So here is the outfit. This is the pants. I just made it attached to the body. So I color changed it. The bottom part is just her bare feet. And then this is like the little white stripes on the pajamas. And I pretty much just sewed it on above this row right here. Let's see, three, four, five, six above the six row. And yeah, this is what we have so far. I'll be back with the next update. Okay, so I'm back with the next update. I gave Mitsuki her white generic eyes. Didn't want to do brown because I feel like it would be too dark. And then here are a couple of her arms right here. So here is what they look like. They're both the same. Starting off with skin and then follow up with the rest of ink. And I also sewed on the white yarn onto the arms. Here's what it looks like on the back side. I'll just be attaching this right here. This is what her head pretty much looks like. I feel like the doll is just so giant now compared to like the ones I made last year, it really is like a lot larger. And here is the doll that I use to make sure the height stays about the same, even though it is, it looks like it's taller or larger, but here's what it looks like next to it. It's slightly larger, but that's fine. It's so hard to make it like the same size, you know? Hey guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to create the curly pigtails. So first off, we're gonna make the first piece. It's gonna have two separate pieces. This is the first larger cylinder. So what you're gonna do is chain 12 and then join it. So here I have 12 and then I'm joining it right now. And then after this, I'm gonna go ahead and single crochet it, single crochet the entire round for four rounds and then close it. Also, I'm testing out the cinematic mode on my phone since I never really got a chance to play with it before. I'm seeing how well the focus is. Here's row one, all half double crocheted and finished. And pretty much you do the same thing until you have four rows or rounds, four rounds, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what my cylinder looks like. This is the first piece. Now that's what that looks like. So go ahead and make two of those. I have two right here. So this is piece number one. We're gonna go ahead and make piece two. So again, take your brown yarn and then go ahead and chain eight. And then after that, you're gonna wanna do is join it. Use my stitch marker. It's 
going to be a little bit difficult, but half to ricochet the entire rounds for three rounds. And then I'll give you the next step after that. Don't close it off yet. Okay, so here's what my second piece looks like. This is also a cylinder. I went ahead and half to ricochet it for three rounds. So this is where we are at the end of the third round. Next, what you want to do is chain 16. Okay, so I now that I've just changed 16, what you want to do is skip two and then half double crochet it, all of it. Okay, so here's what it looks like once I've half double crochet. You have this one long strand, and then right here where the base is of the cylinder, go ahead and do two more half double crochets. So here's one on the base and then the second one into the stitch next to that. Half double crochet, chain one, and then pull out a long strand so that way you can like sew it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and snip this off. Here's my strand right here. So this is what your piece should look like once you've done that. And then here is the first piece. Now what you want to do, this part, so here's like the back side, like the not so pretty side. <laughs> this way, just simply put it inside of the other cylinder. So this is what it should look like right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take my yarn needle, put it through. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and take this yarn needle and then put it through this side, one of the sides, doesn't matter where. And then now you're left with this really long strand. What I do here is just curl it, kind of like this. Let me go ahead and shape this. Okay, so here's what it looks like once I've shaped it. I just kind of like press it down and it pretty much just stays in place. Here's one of the curls. Here's the second curl. So you can see this is how I created the curly pigtail. I made this a long time ago for my Tetoro because I really wanted to make her curly pigtail and I was trying to figure out how to do this and this is what I came up with. This is my solution for that. Simply two cylinders and you just stack them on top of each other. Create the little strand to create the little smaller loops, the smaller curls. And yeah, this is what we have so far. I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to my doll so that way we can like see what it looks like. So here is the update for Mitsuki right here. So I already got started on like the bangs. Here's what the side part looks like right here. Here's the back side. This is the bottom of the shirt. Here is the collar. And we have the eight chain and then we have the slip stitch side. Take the curl and then you simply just put it along the side of the head and then pin it down. This is what this is going to look like. I'll be back with the next update. Okay, so here is the next placement of the pigtails, just real quick before we get back to the final update. So the, I think the hardest part is honestly just trying to make both sides even. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try too hard with this. I mean, I like how it looks. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it like this, but here is the hair cap, four inner rounds, four outer rounds. Let's see, one, two, three. Uh, this is kind of where I placed my pigtails. I would say along the second and third rings right here. I'm counting off from the bottom, by the way. So it's like one, two, three, two, and three. So basically the two rings in the middle. I don't even remember where I put the pigtails for Teto because I don't even make her anymore. Yeah, this is where it, what it looks like. And so far, I think I like how it looks. I think it does look like her. And I will be back once I finish off the rest of the hair. And I'll be back with a final update. Hi guys, welcome back to the final update. So here is Mitsuki, completely done. I didn't add too much hair strands after that. I actually just added these little two. <laughs> so there's not really too much of a difference from before. So these are the two pigtails. I sew them on, but you can totally like glue them on. However, I used to sew them on, so I kind of got used to that. Gluing totally works as well. You can do both. <laughs> these are the little slip stitch strands right here. I have four of them. I just put them on top right here next to each other so that way she can have like little hair sticking out and i think that gives off like a really nice detail i love how the curls look on her and these are like all eight chains just four of them 
And yeah, this is pretty much it. I gave her two little ears. Her ears show in the reference photo. So yeah, this is her in her pajamas. And I really like how everything turned out. Very simple to make. I actually started on this today and I finished it on the same day. That's how you know it's really simple to make. <laughs> there you go, guys. This is it. Here's side profile. Here is the back side. I'm back to the front. If you guys enjoyed the little mini tutorial I made today, don't hesitate to give me a donation on Ko-fi. I also have her written notes in the Ko-fi link down below in the description box. If you like this video and found it useful, please give a like and share and comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back with another video soon. Bye!